Yeah, math modeling sure gets a lot of flack from everybody. But I don't know, I think people are losing sight of the big picture. After all, all the pain, agony, and torture we all go through builds character, and it's part of the learning experience. And who can say that learning is bad? After all, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? So, what are my thoughts on the Jacobian? I mean, honestly, I think a lot of frustration and confusion. Mostly just a lot of confusion, though. Yeah. Sometimes I look at my notes and it's like, I don't even remember this. How is this in my handwriting? Was I, like, possessed? And then I look at Russell's notes and I'm like, was Russ even in class? Hey, Rachel. How's it going? Oh, you know, as good as it can be. Yeah? Did you get your math modeling lab back? Yeah, did you? Yeah, I mean, did Rudy say anything? Like, he kind of scribbled some things online, but... Yeah, I'm not totally sure what it... I mean, can you read that? Is that... Is that Arabic? I mean, I guess it's really cool that Rudy knows Arabic, but I kind of want to know what that comment said. So, uh, tell me what you're working on here. Um, well, Rudy assigned us this project. We're looking at tidal resonance in bays, which, I mean, I, I guess that could be cool, but right now, if you want to come in and look at this, I think that's the best way to show it, is that my the surface elevation of my water is actually just continually going up and up and up. I mean, it's oscillating a little bit, but it's just, I'm just continually adding mass. And then, oh, look, you know, I try and remain positive on these things. If you look at that, that's an instability occurring. And it means that my model's totally not functioning correctly. But, but wait, wait. It looks really cool. I mean, you have to. Nan. Nan and plus imaginary Nan. Who has that? Nobody. Ahem. <clears throat> well, my name is Adamar Jean-Claude Barry de saint Fanon, And I just can't believe that someone with a name like Rudy Slingerland would be teaching my equations. So can you tell us about the results of your model? Well, I just realized that... Although my SCART profile is evolving, instead of stepping through time at a rate of 100 years, I'm just increasing my time from 100 to 200 to 1,000 to 140,000 years at a time. So it really makes no physical sense, even though here it says I'm evolving and I'm getting answers that are quite similar to everybody else's. But it represents nothing in the physical world. So, I get to figure out how to fix that now. So... This week, as much like every other week, <clears throat> I, uh... start off the week working really hard on everything that I'm doing, and then probably usually around Thursday I realized that all fucking week, I've been galloping down the wrong path, and I have to fix it, like, in ten hours. And it happens every time. Maybe I should be working more with other people. I don't know. But I really thought I had it this time, you know? Like, my scarf is beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, I try to work with Russ. But every week, I come to him Tuesday, he hasn't started yet. I come to him Wednesday, he hasn't started yet. Thursday afternoon, he fucking starts and just shits out the right answer in like three hours. That's really helpful to me. So, for this week's lab, we were provided a generic code for 2D vertically average non-uniform unsteady flow. Uh, it was written by Rudy Slingerland. And I think the first thing that jumped out to me and to everybody else is here on line 33 there's a command load bowl. Now obviously we're all really excited to load the bowl <laughs> um, and see what kind of results we get. 
And uh, when we loaded bowl, we get this totally psychedelic peace sign rainbow design. So I think we all know where Rudy's been. I mean, things were hard from the beginning, but it's at the end of the semester that shit started to get really real. It's just so annoying. Like, I've been working on this for hours, and it keeps blowing up. Everyone else's works, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hey, Rachel, why do you have your water depths as one meter? What? You, you have a depth of one in your input file. No, it's a kilometer. No, no they have to be in meters. You're, you're blowing all the water out of your giant puddle. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening.